Let's look at tying a basic wet fly with the palmer. Let's start with the grip. You want to place the palmer's spine along the bottom of your fingers. Close your hand, leaving your thumb and index finger free. You can play around and see whatever works for you. Let's grab a hook. Now the strong spring inside the jaw makes it easy for us to just press down on the jaws, place the hook, find the right spot. Once we're happy, just tighten the vise, secure it firmly, like so. Nice. Now we're ready to tie. Grab your bobbin, grab the thread between your thumb and middle finger or index finger and just start making your initial wraps. Let's cut off the excess. And there we go. Get rid of that. All right. And then just we'll work our way down the hook shank. Just do a wrap around the thread lock, like so, and put down your palmer. Now we can prepare the pheasant tail. Nice. Grab the pheasant tail with your thumb and index finger, like you do on a conventional bench. Release your thread and secure the material to the hook. A couple strong wraps. Let's grab, all, let's grab our golden wire. Grab it again with your thumb and index finger and secure it tightly to the hook. Let's pull back the pheasant and keep wrapping to lock down that golden wire properly. We'll do a couple wraps backwards to push back the materials and then work our way towards the eye of the hook. Like so. All right, let's start wrapping the pheasant tail. Just grab it with our thumb and middle finger and just work our way nice and slow. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. There you go. You can use your index finger to hold down your material, like so. And then just let's lock down that material to the hook shank, like so. All right, nice. Let's tidy it up, like so. Grab the scissors. Let's cut off the extra. As close as possible. Nice. All right. And then repeat with the golden wire. Nice even wraps. This will come to the hook eye. Lock it down. There we go. Nice wraps. Grab our scissors and cut off the extra, like so. And then we can proceed to dubbing. Just to make sure there's nothing sharp in there. Like so. All right, let's grab some green flash dubbing. Make a nice direct thorax. Make a nice sparkly noodle. Like so. Take off some extra like that. Nice. Now we we'll just secure our thread again. And let's prepare our patridge. Take off the guard hair. Find that tip. There we go. Nice. All right. Pick up your palmer again. Use your thumb and index finger to find the right spot. Release your thread. And let's lock down that feather. Copy these wraps, pull it back. Grab our haggle pliers. And let's Wrap it tightly or neatly around the hook. Push it back. Cross the thread and the hackle, like so. Lock it down, pulling back the fibers. And that's it. All right. Let's cut off the extra, like so. Okay, I got a couple of fibers sticking out there, but we'll take care of them later. Up. All right. Then I like to make a 
one width finish by hand just to make it safe to work around that. I have a hook. There we go. Nice. Now that everything's nice and safe. Come look at that head. Let me cut off those. Go. That. Nice. All right. It's time to whip finish. So grab the thread with your thumb. Let the whipping tool do its magic, holding your thumb behind your fly. So you get a nice triangle going there. You're happy. Slide it out. Lift your thumb. And then voila. Give it a little tug. Nice. And simply hold on to the thread with your middle and thumb. And cut the thread. There we go. And that's it, folks. A super, super easy fly to tie. Just to basically, just to basically show you the basic techniques of tying with a palmer. And um, yeah, please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment if there's any, any particular technique you want to look at and we'll be sure to make more videos soon. All right, tight lines. <laughs>